morning, guys. I uh, want to thank you for joining our Bocas Barber Academy, our virtual classroom. Today we're going to go over our mannequin, which is, will be the first haircut you do when you join barber school. We're going to learn how to grab our shears and our comb in the same hand. We're going to learn how to tuck the shears and how to grab the comb. As you can see there, I'm going to flip my hand around this way so you can see it. I should have my shears tucked away using my middle finger away and I'm going to grab my, my comb in this other hand using my index finger and my thumb. I should make a nice V my shears pointing out and my coin pointing this way and it's create a V and that's the first little thing we're going to do by grabbing there holding that V. The reason why we're doing that is as we grab the hair and we lift the hair we're going to transition this comb over and then we're going to be able to cut. Each time we cut we're going to go ahead and switch and tuck our shears back out again. A little example of that we're going to go ahead and take our as you see we grab our comb same way we've pointed our shears out. The reason why we do that is we want to avoid from coming in. If we're holding our shears, we can always come in and jab somebody. So we want to be mindful of that. Once again, we're going to tuck our shears. Shears are pointing out and this finger is here. Our index and our thumb are actually holding the comb. I'm going to go ahead and start right here with our first section. So as we start working with the sections of the hair, we can go ahead and brush all our hair back to begin with. Okay. It's a really nice way to start and reset. I do have my shears, same way we talked about, tucked away, index finger and thumb, and my index finger and thumb are also holding my comb. It's creating that nice V that I want to have. Shears are tucked away, pointing outwards, and my comb is actually used to comb the hair back. So I can still work through all this hair without causing any harm to the, to the client by coming in and jabbing him as our shears are, are pointed away and from the head. Okay, our first step, we're going to brush back like this. And we're actually going to take three fingers and we're going to create a nice section here to be able to work with. I like to call this just our middle mohawk that we're going to use. A section looks just like that. If we look down, you can see it looks something like that straight down all the way, three fingers. And I want to keep that the same width all the way down. Okay. That'll be our first section. As we begin to lift, I'm going to go ahead and rotate to the right side of my client. Okay. Using my comb, I'm using the same method. I'm here with my index finger and my thumb, shears are pointed out, comb is here. I'm going to go ahead and grab a fingers width section of hair from the front of the head. Using the point of my comb, if you can see that there, that has a little bit bigger comb. You can use like a rat cell comb or other things, but as long as your comb has some kind of divider or a pointy section, you can go ahead and use that. As I'm taking the tip, if we can come in here, take the tip of the comb, slide it all the way through. I'm going to allow it to hit my thumb, lift up separate and then as I lift I'm gonna go ahead and grab here and then I'm gonna throw this section into the comb just like that I could redo that a couple times you see I grab the hair and I throw it into the comb grabbing the hair throwing it into the comb that allows these to separate and get a nice even pull up now the whole idea of this is coming in with my comb right under I'm gonna grab and lift up to the desired length usually when we do this we are gonna be doing this in front of the mirror and we're behind the client almost as you can see right now so throw the hair into the comb. Let's say I'm working with my client. I'm going to lift this hair up for video purposes. We're going to go ahead and get them straight on just like this. Okay. Imagine I'm standing directly behind my client. Hair goes in. I'm lifting up here. And let's say the client wants that length of hair. I'm going to go ahead and save my comb in my hand. Notice my teeth are pointing out and away. Now I'm going to re-grab my shears using my thumb and I'm going to go ahead and start there as my first cut. Okay really important my first cut will determine the rest of my length so if I have this cut here and the client says I want my hair to be about this length I can go ahead and assume that this is the length that we'll have for the rest of the cut go ahead and make sure that's nice and even now as I pull up this is what I should see all my hair texture should be the same size if I have some hairs that straggle that's fine we could take them off but I want to make sure really important that I have that nice clean length at the beginning of my cut Okay. As I have that, I have set my pattern for the rest of my head and that's what we're going to get into next. Okay. As I rotate sideways, once again, I'm going to go ahead and lift. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm lifting the hair that I have previously cut and I'm also taking a little bit of the hair that I need to cut. Something very important about this is to realize when we're lifting the hair, if you noticed, I lift the hair almost at 90 degrees. What that means is this is not a flat head. If you see it rotates forward this way, and it wants to slope back also. Same thing is if we take the head, looking straight on, it rotates sideways 
and it also rotates this way as well, okay? The only flat portion that I have on my head is this top middle portion right here. Everything else begins to round, whether it's going forward, backwards, or off to the sides, okay? Really important to remember that because when pulling up at 90, we're gonna be able, this is 90 degrees. So as we move along this head, each section should change like this. The only point that's gonna be pulled up straight is gonna be this comb when it's at the middle portion of that head, okay? As we drop back down and we're getting into the parietal ridge, the parietal ridge is where the sides of the head connect to the top of the head, we're gonna start seeing this angle move out at 90 as well because the roundness of the head, both going this way, going this way, also going into our sides, going this way, and going this way, okay? One more example, just so you guys see for video references, the middle of the head's here, okay? These sides slope down, so if I'm pulling up the hair at 90, now it'll be this way, okay? All the way till I get to the sides, 90 degrees out from the side of the head is directly out, okay? And that's a mistake that a lot of beginning students do also from here. Remember, 90 degrees is our friend when doing a radial cut because what it's gonna do is gonna create natural layers that lay on top of each other, okay? So now let's get into our cutting. Now that I have determined the length of my client's hair here on the front, we did that by pulling up the hair and usually what I'll do is, as we lift, I will double check with my client. Are you sure this is the right length? He's gonna say, maybe let's start there, maybe we can always go shorter. That's a good way to start. Just keep be mindful that if you go shorter, you're gonna to have to do the whole thing shorter. So it's pretty important, especially young barbers that are starting, you wanna make sure that you do grab at least very close to where you wanna trim, especially on that first cut. So let's mention that our client says, you know what, I'm thinking about it, I wanna go a little bit shorter, okay? So what we'll do is we'll retuck. Shears are here, same way, tucked away, thumb is loose, index finger here, and I'm grabbing the comb. I still have my nice V, shears are pointing out, comb is facing, is on the head of the client. Okay, so client says, I want a little shorter, so notice I'm pulling up 90 degrees, okay? And I'm actually gonna trim that. Before I cut, I wanna show a side angle of what that 90 degrees looks like. So a lot of times, as beginning barbers, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and lift straight up. This is not 90 from the head, okay? Because 90 is gonna look more like this. The reason for that is if I drop this hair, it gets a little longer if I go to the right angle, which is 90. So you wanna make sure that when you're pulling this out, this is about 90 degrees, okay? Something like that. The client says, I wanna take another inch off. We're gonna go take a little bit more off, okay? We check our length pull up and from the front it'll look like this okay rotate them this way grab this hair again throw it into our comb lift I want a little bit more off okay boom taking a little bit more off now we've trimmed we got a nice length there but but this is still gonna be our base to the rest of our haircut so what we'll do next is now coming on to the right side of the client, okay? My chest is gonna be in his ear. I'm gonna go ahead and take another section that I wanna work with, working in sections about a finger width, okay? Grab that there, we're gonna pull up, okay? Now I'm gonna grab both, both of the hairs, okay? Grab both hairs, let them fall into my comb. I wanna make sure I separate, only work in two sections. There we go, lift, and now as you can see, I have a previous section right there. Now notice I'm pulling up at 90. I have my section here. Can you guys see that in the camera okay right there? Got a little bit of my guide, and I'm gonna go ahead and begin to cut, okay? I notice my hands are angled with the angle of the head, right? See the angle of the head? My hands are angled. My hands are not straight. My hands are at the angle of the head as if I was pulling up at 90 degrees. Now, I don't need to use all this hair. As I drop down, I can grab another section, lift up to separate, separate the hair, bring that over, get this hair back into my comb, pulling up a little bit more at 90 still. Can you see our section there? Now we're gonna continue to cut, just moving along that section, okay? As we drop this hair, we're gonna go ahead and grab a little bit more, flip the hair back into the comb, lift, Resave, and you can see I got a little bit of my guide still right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut, continue to cut. 
Now we're getting close to being where we're gonna be a straight pull up all the way to the ceiling. So now my hands should be either parallel to the floor or parallel to the ceiling at this point. I'm gonna lift, separate the hair, throw it into my comb. Now I'm lifting straight up. Comb goes over, and this is the only one where I pull straight up. Now I'm gonna connect it and tie into the back there. We're gonna continue this all the way till we get to the parietal ridge, okay? So we're gonna continue. I'm gonna to continue to grab hair, pull up the section, okay? Drop it into my comb, re-pull up the hair, okay? Now I'm pinching this hair really nice and tight. I'm trying to grab as, as best of a grip as I can. The key is that when I come in and I comb this hair and I grab it, right? Separate, I'm separating the hair with my thumb, then I flip the hair into my comb. When I do this, notice I keep my comb really low, close to the head. Okay, now my hands come under, and I actually pinch, and I push the comb up. That's the way to get a nice, quick, and tight grip on the hair, moving really close to the comb. Okay, one more time. Go ahead and grab that hair, pull up. Flip the hair into the comb. Notice hand stays close to the comb. I'm lifting my comb up. Now notice what is my hand doing? My hand's kind of coming back now, right? At 90. Okay, separating that hair. I'm still gonna continue there. Let that comb come in there. Pull up, separate. Now my hand should be coming back like 90, like this. See that there? Notice my hand is starting to tilt back because now my head's starting to tilt back, okay? Really, really important that we do that. now. I'm getting close to the parietal ridge, okay? Now my hand should really, really be getting into that angle where I'm really, really pulling back. See, as I push back like this, now this angle is like flat like that. So now I'm still taking a little bit of my guide and I'm recutting there. Got that section over. I'm gonna lift a couple more times probably before we get to that parietal ridge. Lifting out, straight out, recutting, getting rid of that. All going forward, and then this will probably be one of our last cuts here. Over there. So now, as I cut this section, if I lift up just my section that I work with, it should be really close to being all even. Now I might grab some extra hairs from the side, that's okay. We can go ahead and trim those up, okay? Because we want this mohawk to be nice and straight. So if I look here, yep, we got a few stragglers, which is okay. And always come back and clip those up. But I'm lifting, this is all nice and in the same length. So if I lift each section in the middle, it looks like it's almost all the same length. All the way till we get back to our parietal ridge, okay? So very important. Now, using this middle section that we cut, now we're gonna go ahead and tie into the sides of our section. What that means is, I'm gonna use a little bit of the middle section, this mohawk that I created with my first guide here, and we're gonna tie it into the sides of the head. The reason why we went straight on, be mindful now, my hands should never be straight on, right? Because this hair will actually be way longer than this hair. Does that make sense? So what we wanna do is, I wanna make sure that if I'm pulling out here, I'm at the correct angle of the head, just like we had to be at the correct angle of the head when we did this section here. Okay, so now working in the front section, what I like to do is I'm gonna recomb my hair back, okay? I'm gonna work with this half of the head, okay? And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take same thing, same section, go ahead and grab a little section like that from the front, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and tie in the middle of my hair to the sides of my hair. There we go, we got a nice, our nice guide right there. And then we can go ahead and tie it back into it. Notice my hands are kinda of coming down like that. So that's done. Now I no longer need to grab the first section, I need to just work back in sections because I'm using now the middle of the guide, if that makes sense to you guys, to tie into the sides. So as I lift, I should have these middle hairs should be shorter, and now I'm gonna just make them tie in. Okay, that's cut. Now we'll go ahead and cut here, move forward, flip that into our comb, lift. Okay, there we go. We're moving back on the head. This is getting easier and easier because we have more and more of guide to grab. And once we do that, then it's real simple. I'm just lifting up, catching my old guys, as you guys can see right there in the video, and I'm connecting it to the middle section of the hair that I previously cut. That lays forward. I'm gonna go ahead and one more time, grab here, all the way till I run out of my guide. I still have my guide there. Going forward. 
Going forward, we're going to lift up. Going forward, and then I think we get one more maybe. Up and lifting, and then we're tying it back into our guide. Okay, now we have this whole section. Now what I'm going to do is now we're going to jump to the other side. Something I want you guys to keep in mind is if I were to lift up, I can do this, okay? I can lift up now because I'm basically done. So we'll recomb, okay? We'll recomb. This side section is done. So I'm okay with just leaving probably like about this much separated. We've done probably up to that section. Remember, we started with three fingers. We've worked a little bit to the side. We've got maybe a couple more fingers. Now this section is not done at all. Can I go ahead and grab this? Let's say I want to grab this front section, lift. But look how confusing it gets. It gets kind of tangled up. And the reason for that is if I lift up, now I've got to be pulling angle sideways this way, okay? So I'm going to give you guys two options on the way to do this. As you get closer on the left side of the client, it'll be benefit you to rotate to the front of the client. The reason why I'm stating that is I want to make sure that we can catch this good here is if I'm working with a client and now I'm brushing the hair back, I can easily now lift, take some sections, okay? And just as long as I'm grabbing a little bit of the front, can you see my section there to cut? Is that okay in the view right there? Come back like this maybe. And I could tie that section into this section the same way. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just move back fingers width each time. Time from the middle, down to my sides, all the way to the back. So you notice it was real simple because I could grab as much as I hair because I've already done so much trimming on the top. The next thing we will do is as we get closer to our sides, we're starting to get real close to that parietal ridge. So now what I will do is I will take a section of hair, separate from the top, and this section is really, really important because this section no longer is the top, nor is it the sides. It's kind of in between. So that means my angle should be pointing out this way to cut this type of hair, okay? So as I move in and I grab a little bit of my section that I've already cut, okay? Notice how this is going to come together. I have to lift. I found my section. Now I can pull out at 90 from that angle of the head and I'm connecting it, okay? And we're going to go ahead and travel all the way down by doing that. Grabbing just a little bit of section of hair that we've already cut, connecting it, grabbing a little bit of what we already cut. And you can see my guide here at the top. I'm going to connect it. Once again, connect it. Now, what we're doing here, this is all a trim, but this is using the previous section of hair that we've cut. We have not even gone into our finger section, which is going to be, you know, let's say if client wants three fingers or he wants two fingers length or even just one finger length, okay? So we haven't got into that yet. This is just grabbing the previous section and using it to trim our hair, okay? Now, as we're getting close to this back side here, okay? I'm gonna do it this way, especially so you can see it. Remember, it's always easiest to jump to the front of the client when doing this left side of the head. So as I got this hair here, I'm gonna go ahead and push this over now, okay? Now, I've previously cut some of this section. As if you see, if I'm pulling this hair out like this, you can see that top little hair, and as long as I have a little bit, I'm able to go through and connect it, okay? And I always do that little line at the top because I want to make sure that I'm grabbing a little bit of the hair right there. You can see it at the top there, okay? Also coming on to the back. As long as I see my guide at the top, I am okay to go through and cut it, okay? We're getting a little bit short here where we can't see hardly that guide, so we're going to stop there. Always make sure you're grabbing a little bit of the guide before you move on to the next step, okay? Now, really, really important now, now we have come to where we're almost grabbing the sides of the head. So if I have this hair short here, I want to remind you, if we have like a long hair, it's going to almost be three fingers of head. And we're going to go ahead and trim this mannequin down two more times so you can see as it grabs shorter and shorter. The next thing is, the first item here is that we have to determine the length of hair on top here how it's going to take, how much hair it's going to take to take off to get to the sides, okay? So, if I'm just doing a full regular haircut, we are still on the right track here. It's usually going to be around three fingers of the side of the head. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull out, okay? And I'm going to measure directly from the side of the head. As you can see my fingers, they're pointing straight down. I'm going to go 90. If you notice, it should match almost, almost perfectly with those top hairs that we cut, okay? We're going to continue around. 
I'm going to pull out 90 from the head. As you can see, some of those hairs that are previously cut, 90, and I'm going to like one, two, three fingers from the side of the head. Notice this finger is almost pointing straight down as we work around. We're going to go ahead and rotate our mannequin one more time. Okay. We're still at three fingers. As you see, we're pretty close there to what we've previously trimmed. Okay. And we're going to keep working around. And you can see three fingers, that's almost perfect right there. See our old guide there? One, two, three, and we're coming up along and connecting it. So I want to make sure you guys can see this. So it's really important to grab off the side of the head. I can see I have a little guide right there at the top. I have three fingers, which is one, two, three, and I'm going to go ahead and cut up. My fingers pointing straight up and down, okay? We're going to continue. Let's rotate our mannequin one more time. As we're working towards the back here, I'm still grabbing. And it's pretty much right there. You can see that. One, two, three. And I'm going straight up and down with my finger there. Okay. One more time. We're grabbing here. I got that at the top right there. You see that? One, two, three. Connecting. I'm going to continue off to the side. Let's rotate them this way so you guys can see properly. I'm going to grab the hair. And I'm close. One, two, three. I'm going to connect it. Okay. Sideways. One, two, three. Connect it going up and down. One, two, three, connect it. And you see we're almost close right there. So we're just connecting it. Now, this is a full regular haircut, okay guys? This is just if a client's like, you know what? I don't want no, no clippers. I just want a nice, clean, regular haircut. In other words, a gentleman's haircut, would, they would say this was what referred to as a men's regular haircut. For those older barbers, this was basically the haircut you did when you went to state board. They wanted to see you could grab the shears, manipulate the hair for blend and balance, okay? So you notice blending and balance is really important because right now we're getting into the sides, but we still have a lot of length right here, okay? So we're going to start working on the sides now. We've done three fingers at the top. Now we're going to completely, let's say, ignore this top portion for now. And we're going to go and pull out now two fingers from the side of the head, still at 90, all the way from the bottom. So two fingers now and we're gonna to begin to connect it into the top of the head. Can you see that angle okay from the front? Maybe I'll go like this. Maybe you can see a little bit better. Two fingers. Let's try that again. Two fingers there. Two fingers. Two fingers. Two fingers. And I'm working these two fingers all the way around the head. Okay, as this rotates, I'm coming around like that with the angle of the head and just trying to pulling those hairs straight out while keeping my hand straight up and down. One more time, let's rotate there. Two fingers. Notice my hand is like palming the head. The head rotates and it's easy because you're gonna have a barber chair so you're gonna be able to spin pretty easily around your client. Let's rotate him one more time and kind of getting hidden over here on this side. But pull over, two fingers. Two fingers, and two fingers. Now we're getting really close to where this looks like a regular full haircut, right? As I comb back, that's exactly what I want to see. I want to see the hairs laying nicely on each other there. Nice texture. Now we still have all this fullness. That's what we're going to talk about next. All right, guys, so we went ahead and changed out our comb here. We're just going to grab a smaller comb. The reason for that is we're getting real tight into this bottom section of the hair. And what I want to do is I want to grab one finger. So just a little recap on what we did. We grabbed this to length, right? So these two should be at the same length, pulling out at a radial cut. We got to like three fingers up here. Then we went down to two. Now, as we're getting close to the base of the haircut, we're going to go down to one finger. It should look a little something like this. As I go down to the one finger, I did switch out to a smaller comb just because I want to be able to grab as much hair as I can. We're going to switch, grab, and I'm going to go as tight as I can at the base of the haircut, one finger, and instead of being 90, I'm going to go ahead and rotate out just a little bit, okay? That's going to create those nice layers, a nice taper, going from longer all the way to shorter at the base of the haircut, okay? So same thing here. We'll do that one more time. I'm going to go ahead and grab as tight as I can with one finger. Rather than being at 90, I'm going to go rotate out slightly and go real tight at the bottom. That way, it'll create that nice tapered look with long hairs at the top getting to real shorter hairs until we get closer to that base. So one more time as we're moving along, I'm just going to grab as much as I can grab on my one finger. Hands up, kind of extended in one more time. 
and we're just going over this same spots but just grabbing a little bit lower as we rotate to this back we'll rotate our client one more time or mannequin going over one finger notice my hands over the client's head right here I'm grabbing and I'm just pulling this down I'm just gonna go as tight as I can with one finger okay this is probably gonna be our last cut before we can go into a uh, shear over comb okay one finger there we're going real tight here at the sides one finger we're kind of pulling out just so we create that nice layer one more time here on the sides grabbing as tight as we can with one finger going out this way one finger once again rotating out real tight creating that layer you see long from short you see that longer here and it gets real tight as we get to the bottom one more time extending short to long as we're pulling out there okay now we have a nice idea of how this hair is going to start to flow back okay our next cuts will be with shear over comb as we lift i'm going to make some some preliminary cuts just to make sure we get some right length i don't want to go too crazy in the beard but notice now i have my shears and my comb in my left hand now this is a little bit different now now we're not grabbing the hair and we're cutting it's reached the length that's not manageable anymore it's just too tight to the head if i wanted to i could only go as tight as my fingers go so if i wanted to go back and double check my work i can go maybe a little bit lower but at one finger i'm almost maxed out there i can't go any shorter okay if that makes sense so what we have there is we still have this this issue right here with this sideburn right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use our shears and our comb to do a nice scissor cut all the way around okay we'll work on this side to begin so as i work with my shears i want to begin to work from the bottom up okay this is, can only be done when the hair is more manageable where it's a shorter length notice when we get to this back portion here we'll work from the top to the bottom okay so as i come in here i'm going to come in with my shears i'm going to go ahead and cut and i'm going to roll up with my comb and i'm just alternating comb to shear comb to shear and notice I'm getting less and less hair as I get to the top of my hair and that should create that nice tapered look that we're looking for okay as you see there we've kind of started to expose the ear just a tad bit okay we're going to continue to do the same thing I want to lift because I want to create that protection okay I want to be away from the ear so notice my comb is always in between my ear when I'm rolling up like this and as I get to the top it's less and less now we're exposing the ear just a little bit more okay it's starting to look like a haircut now i'm going to go ahead and take this and start cutting in here always be mindful when you start to cut around the ears you got to be really careful where these points of the shears are because if you catch any portion of the ear they can nick so a little a little technique that we've used is i'm going to use my index finger to kind of be my guide to show where i'm at so as i round out or i come into the ear i'm going to have this sit on top of my index finger as we start rounding out the top of that ear there okay as we begin to expose the ear notice my finger still is my guide we're going to go ahead and rotate a little over this way i'm going to go actually switch positions and jump over to this side because we even though we're in this position we still are using arching technique i'll use the same thing i'm going to grab the base of my finger and my shears will rest on top as a guide there i want to make sure that i'm i'm precision with every one of these moves because I do not want to catch the top of that client's ear okay as you move forward there we're rotating around we're moving I'm staying on top of the ear I'm not going behind the ear a really really easy way to cut a client is you're going to go behind the ear we don't want to go behind the ear we want to stay on top of the ear does that make sense I'm almost pushing the ear down with my finger my shears are coming on top and I'm going around the ear if that makes sense the way we're doing that okay so our finger is always a barrier because we're pushing the ear back we don't ever want to go behind the ear and snip the ear okay so you got to be careful when doing that okay now we have a little bit of work to do here in the back here i want to show you guys what that looks like now when we're doing shear over comb i'm going to go and pull out my guide there and i know my guide's about right there i see my length there i'm going to go ahead and cut i'm going to take a little bit more of the hair that i cut and i'm going to tie it in I'm going to take a little bit more each time I'm dropping my comb right under it okay as I lift and removing bulk of the hair so if I comb down again we've removed a lot of the hair that we wanted to get rid of we're going to go ahead and redirect this hair out like this moving up on the side of the head we can go ahead and take that off all the way to the top 
moving up once again. Notice we're always using our finger as a barrier to create that nice protection between the ear, the skin, and we're going to go ahead and rotate this out like this. Notice my finger is still a barrier between there. We're going to go ahead and just round out the back right there. And now we're going to do the same thing. As we comb down, I'm going to take the length of the hair that I've previously cut. So right there, that's where I'm at. And then we're going to continue to move down. I want this hair to be almost in front of me. That way I can pull the hair out. I can see what I've previously cut there and I can match it. Okay, grab a little bit more hair using my shears, flip it back into my comb. Okay, same thing as I'm working from the top to the bottom. Okay, all the way down and I never want to go past my guide. So I'll recomb the hair there, trimming up. We're going to work around this way too as well. Rotating one more time. We're going to take this comb. I have my guide that I have cut here previously. Rotate out, moving this back in, grabbing the hair there. And as it falls back into my comb, that's how I'm able to brush down. I will recut here. We still seeing okay? All right, here we're getting to the side of the head, right? Now I want to go ahead and check, recheck my hair here. I'm going to make sure I went down to one finger, okay? So I'm going to go ahead, grab my hair. Let's say my one finger. Yeah, I'm pretty tight right there. Everything should be close to one finger. I'm tight right there. Also, pretty close right there. And obviously right here, it's too hard to grab that low on the head, okay? That's where we're going into our shears. We're gonna re-wet wet the hair. Uh, a, good, a good tip for this is if your hair is getting dry, go ahead and wet the hair, okay? And also, you do not want a comb that lets the hair easily fall through. You want the comb to be able to actually grab the hair. So if I'm coming in like this, see how it's grabbing the hair? If it's too thick or wider tooth comb, the hair will just fall through and it'll fall out, okay? So you wanna make sure you're grabbing the hair Comb, rotating up, grabbing a little bit of the guide that we previously cut. You can see the hairs there. See that's our hair, that's our long hair there. Make, tie it in. And obviously the longer the hair, the easier it is to see the guide, okay? Now we're getting really close. Now I'm gonna come back this direction. Now we're gonna work away along up the side of the head now. So same thing here. I'm gonna go down. You can see those long hairs popping out. We're gonna get rid of that angle, that side there. As we come down, we're gonna read the heck the hair sideways as much as we can. We're gonna start cleaning up. Okay, now we're gonna rotate this guy sideways one more time. We're gonna brush the hair back, okay? I don't wanna work with all this top hair. I'm gonna go ahead and push it over to the side. This is the hair that I wanna work with. Keep, be mindful when pushing the hair over, that helps us because once we get to the top, we might cut into the sum of the hair that we don't want to cut. That's why we redirect the, hair, redirect the hair to the other side. So starting from the bottom here, we're going to go ahead and help ourselves here by trimming up just a little bit from there, okay? We're going to go ahead and using from the bottom, we're going to roll up, see our shears? Roll up. And we're rolling through. If you guys can see that technique, we're just rolling, switching over from our shears to our comb. And as we get to the top there, we're going to take less and less hair off till we're almost grabbing no hairs at the top, okay? Once again, it looks a little something like this. Starting at the bottom, okay, grabbing my shears, pulling the hair out, comb grabs the hair, I'm rotating up till I get to the top where it's very, very minimal. Okay, now we're going to get to the back here, same thing. Shears lifting up. and go back down. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go lay maybe a little tighter, but we're gonna start our edging. Notice, finger here, okay? Still working on that corner to make sure it's there's that protection. I'm staying on top of the ear. I don't never wanna go under the ear. The reason for that, if I stay on top of the ear, I'll never cut it. If I go under the ear, I run the risk of cutting it. So you always want your shears to stay on top of your ear, okay? So same thing here. Also, my index finger is still, or my middle finger, here will you be my guide. I'm staying on top of the ear. Push down and I'm going to come through and just cut like so. Okay. Come back redirect this way. Just exposing the ears as best that I can. Now, if we take this haircut, we can go a little bit tighter, right? Just depending on how short we want to go. We can go all the way down to almost like the skin. If we work down that low, just flow, flowing up. Rotating between the shears and the comb. Here it comes up. Now we have a nice tapered regular cut. So we're gonna go ahead and brush them back. 
and see what this hair is starting to look like, okay? As you can see, we've used all shears and we begin to break down that nice flow, right? This hair is laying nice on top of each other. It's all flowing back. It's off the ear, okay? This is a nice, regular, full, regular haircut. And we're gonna go ahead and make sure that our sides match. Notice we've gotten a little tapered in right there. So we're gonna actually taper in just a little bit more on this side to make sure that both sides match. All right, that concludes our men's just full regular haircut using our hands, our comb, and our shears, okay? This is gonna be the beginning haircut. After this, we're gonna start working on how, if this client wants a bald fade or a shorter fade, how do we connect this long length to the sides of the head? That'll be our next video for now. Full regular haircut, as you see, we've been able to match where the hair's falling over and connecting nice into the sides, whether he wants to comb it down or whether he wants to just slick it back. It's laying nicely all on top of each other. That's a nice full regular haircut. When you look at this and I say full, that means I can't see no skin, okay? If it were tapered down to like a bald and I see skin, it wouldn't be considered like a full regular haircut, it'd be more like a regular haircut. And that's where we would use a little bit more clipper cutting. There you go. That's a full regular haircut as you can see. It's nice and tapered. We still have our length coming down right there. Off to the back, it's nice and even. Now we haven't done any clipper cutting, but we've been able to trace the outline using arching technique all the way around. We got nice flow, we can push the hair back. There's no skin showing, so nice full regular haircut, okay? And that includes the length on the top, but it's, it balances and blends into the sides very nicely.